Добрий день, українці. Саме на цьому місці. Good afternoon, Ukrainians. Powerful explosions occurred right on this spot on March the 1st this year. Russian troops launched devastating missile strikes on the TV tower. Immediately afterward, Ukrainian TV channels stopped their work. However, they resumed broadcasting within hours on the same day. I congratulate all those involved and on my own behalf I would like to thank all the employees of the Kyiv concern of radio broadcasting, radio communications and television who resumed broadcasts throughout the country under fire, sometimes threatening their own lives in a matter of minutes. Thanks to all of you, we are holding the information front. The restoration of territories liberated from Russian occupation is continuing. In the Kyiv region, 15 settlements were connected to the electricity supply within a day. Two months ago, there were fierce battles here, and now the restoration of destroyed towns and villages is in full swing. The gas supply in Irpin is 96% restored. Chernihiv region is also starting to rebuild critical infrastructure, including electricity, water utility, hospitals and kindergartens. The war is still going on, but people cannot live in half-destroyed houses without water and light. There is a detour on road R67 in the Nizhny district near the artificial structure, which will make the life of drivers much easier. The government allocated 100 million hryvnia from the reserve fund to restore communities in the Zhitomir region, which were most affected by the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia. The funds are used to repair engineering systems and restore water, heat, gas and electricity supplies, also to dismantle destruction, repair roofs, replace windows and doors, repair roads and other priority needs. Now the work on clearing the area of explosive objects in the Narodica territorial community is underway. A water tower was inspected in the village of Vakovanchuk. In the village of Singuri and the Maweng territorial community, damaged houses were inspected. We also continue to restore the Zalisa Hrebla pipeline of the Narodica territorial community. The Kharkiv region has electricity again. Only in one day we managed to connect to the power grid 5,400 residents of Kharkiv and 506 consumers in the villages of Kulinichi and Malada Nilivka. Repair works of electric networks in the villages of Baranivka, Kozachok, Chernohlazivka, Korobki were performed. The electricity was restored to 1,700 residents. In the villages of Ivashki, Alexandrivka, Odnorobivka, Gurivko Kozachok, Perovka and Lutivka gas connection works were performed for 1,030 citizens. In Derhachi, 2,500 people can also use gas. In Chohuiv, specialists repaired the water supply system to provide people with cold water in apartments. Public transport has started operating in Kharkiv. Of course, it is difficult to return to a peaceful life in an instant. But every day the communal and road services of the Kharkiv region do everything in their power to cover up the restoration process. During the day, 30 brigades of Kharkiv, Obu, Avtodor were involved in repairing the roads of the front region. We continue to work together to achieve victory.